Hi, this is Katina, and in this review video, I'm gonna be playing the Bakun Alpha clarinet. Now, I decided to play this one outside because this is a professional level clarinet that is for use outside. So, we can also use it for students too, because as I'll talk about later, it's a very sturdy, well-made clarinet. But I thought it would be kind of fun to play it out here in the woods. Okay, so this looks like a nice spot. This is sort of a wobbly log, but it'll do for now. And while I get the clarinet out, I'll just talk to you about some of the features that I know about it. I've done two play tests so far, and this is my third. But the first one where I'll actually be able to take some time to play it. The last couple were live streams, and as you know, those can get kind of chaotic. So I'm gonna jump right in. The case is really sturdy, so that's always nice to know. And I can toss it in my backpack and not have to worry about any damage to the clarinet. So I do appreciate that. It looks really beautiful in here. Nice, a nice and uh, nice, nice case, nice and sturdy. What I'm gonna do is n I already put the cork grease on, but a tip when you're trying clarinets, don't use the cork grease that comes in the clarinet case. If you're not gonna buy it, and you're not sure about it, you can always use it later on if you end up buying it. But if you use it and then you're not buying the clarinet, you know, then the next person is at a loss for their cork grease. So I'm gonna put it together, but before I do that, I'm gonna grab a reed. And I wanna to talk to you about the key work and the pads. Oh, this is my fire starter kit. That it's not gonna work, but at least I have plenty of reeds that I could use as kindling if I wanted to. Um, so the keys are very, very sturdy, very well made, which I really appreciate as a clarinet teacher. You're going to wanna have very, very solid keys when you're working with young students. They tend to get bent, you know, cases get dropped, clarinets get dropped, other people bump into clarinets that are sitting on chairs and knock them over. So you're going to want to have really, really sturdy keys. The other thing that I really, really appreciate are the pads. So I'm gonna bring it a little closer so you can see these pads in here. These are waterproof pads. Let me see if I can get it to focus. So they're waterproof. Really great idea for those of us that wanna take our clarinets camping with us. Finally, I can play around the campfire. Um, but also for marching band and things like that. Not only are you out there and it's really, really humid, especially places like Virginia where it gets humid and that can be a lot of wear and tear on pads that way. Um, but I've definitely had students out doing games and marching and it starts to rain. So this way with these waterproof pads, you don't have to worry about that. Obviously you're not gonna be taking your clarinet out in the rain, but it's one less thing to worry about. Also, it's not a wood clarinet, so we don't have to worry about it cracking or you know, taking out in extreme temperatures and causing the wood to expand or contract too much. So that is all taken care of here. Um, one of the other things I really appreciate this is how well the, um, the corks are under the keys. So I'm gonna show you the side E-flat key right there. So that's a nice thick cork, which I really like, especially because sometimes in the beginning, students don't put their clarinets together you know, perfectly lined up. Heck, sometimes I don't even put my clarinet together perfectly lined up. So that'll give you a little bit of a grace if you don't get that lined up right away. And then you can fix it. It has an, a th an adjustable thumb rest right here. And what I like about the adjustable thumb rest is that it actually goes higher than other adjustable thumb rests, which works well for my hand. I'm one of those people that it pushes my thumb too far down. You actually want it as close to your natural grip as possible, and this does that for me. I just don't have it tightened right now, which is why it is falling down. When I put it in the case at the height that I like it, it doesn't fit, so I had to loosen it. Um, all right, let me get this barrel on here and then my mouthpiece, and we will play. What I'm going to do is start with an F major scale. Now, if I was in my studio, I would play it against my, my clarinet that I normally play on. So I normally play on a Buffet Prestige, and I've already played against it a couple of times, which is really nice. You're gonna to wanna to do that too. You're going to to wanna to compare it to the clarinet that you're already playing on to see how it feels, see if it's matching the sound that you want in your mind. These are all the things to listen for. So when I play, I'm going to be listening for intonation, sound, how it feels under my fingers, the weight of the instrument, the ease of playing this instrument. You want the instrument to work for you. You don't want to work for the instrument. So if I'm doing a lot of micro adjustments with my embouchure, uh, with my jaw to get the pitch to the place that I want to be. I'm working too hard. I don't want to work that hard. So, all right, let me see how my read is first. All right, 
right, so I'm gonna start with this F major scale. Oh, the birds, <laughs> you know the birds are reacting. Oh, there's a beautiful reverb in here. I'm sort of down in a little valley, so it's nice to hear the echo among the hills. All right, so first impressions going over the break is lovely. Very, very easy to do. That can be a challenge in the beginning. I know Bakun told me they have an extra ring in here in the bell, and I'll flip it over, see if you can see it a little bit that way. Yeah, if I turn it at the right angle, you can see the reflection of that ring. That's in the design so that it's easier to go over the break, which I really appreciate. Um, you know, for me too, I'm getting older. I don't have quite the ab strength I once did. All right, going into the altissimo was lovely as well. Which I really like too. I want it to be easy to play. Like I said, I am too old to work hard to play the clarinet, so anything that helps me out, I'm going to take. I'm going to double check a little chromatic though up to the altissimo to see how that feels. Very easy. I was I was doing a lot of support, but I was letting my air be a little bit lighter with more lift in there, and those notes spoke for me. So I really like that. The next thing I want to check are how the articulations feel. So I usually start at the bottom. issues up there in the altissimo when I was doing the articulations, but not enough that I can't adjust that and fix that on my own. But I'm not noticing it as much there. So intonation on this clarinet is lovely as well. You're going to want to use a tuner and play through with the tuner to see how in tune it is throughout the instrument. That's really, really important. So you know, overall, I'm really enjoying this. I mean, I mean, this is my third play test I've done where I've recorded it. So obviously I'm having fun playing it. It's really nice to take it outside. I can't do that with my wooden clarinet. I wouldn't trust it. So it's even sort of an overcast day. And if it rained while I was out here, I wasn't too concerned because I know this is a really sturdy, well-made clarinet. Obviously I'm going to get in the case right away and take good care of it, but I don't have to worry about it the same way I worry about playing my wooden clarinet out here. You gotta have a little Beethoven when you're out in the woods. Thanks for watching, comments, questions, post them below. Bye.